I've had a great experience traveling all across the state. Big towns, medium towns, rural, urban, suburban. I met tons of people in Ohio. I was in the gym the other day, they said, oh, see, you're ahead in the polls. I'm not ahead in the polls. We're ahead in the polls. Hope you win. No, hope we win. And then we march. And it'll mean something. Even though the towns may have been different, the locations may have been different, people were all the same. They got great spirit. They're absolutely concerned about where we are today and where we're going tomorrow. They're worried about the, the economic problems that we're having in our great state. And they want to stand up and they want to work together and they want to fix them because they want to maintain the legacy of Ohio. They are not only concerned about themselves, they're not only concerned about their ability to continue to put food on the table, but they have a, they have a real commitment to making sure that they can create an Ohio where their children can strive, and where their children can thrive. I will fight every day when we improve this atmosphere to travel this state and travel this world if I have to, to bring prosperity back and sell the great state of Ohio. We've got great people, great location, great geography, and great assets. We're going to take advantage of it, aren't we? And we're going to restore the hope and the prosperity. That's what this is really all about. And I'm a better man for having traveled to these 88 counties, looked into people's hearts, and sometimes being able to really understand what they are the most concerned about, which is their family, their friends, their legacy, and the legacy of our great state. Together, we can fix this. I made a pledge together across this state, we'll join together, and we will build a great Ohio again.